We are at our philosophy and practice leadership seminar at Kloster Mühle at this wonderful venue. And I'm really happy that I'm here with one of our guests, Anastasia. And uh, maybe before we start and get into what the seminar is all about and why you're here, maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are and what you do. So I'm Anastasia Banner. I was one of the youngest female founders in Germany. I founded the startup Fee Mentor. I am a TEDx speaker, author um, of Gegründet Startup Szene Uncovered. Sorry, it's in German. Uh, not uh, translated yet. Yet. <laughs> and uh, I'm the representative of Generation Z today. Mm. Yeah. Um, and you also participated in our influencer project. Oh, yes, <laughs> you're, an influencer. Yeah. you're also an influencer. And now you're here with us yeah. um, at the leadership set. Uh, at the leadership seminar um, and uh, what motivated you to actually come um, after we um, extended the invitation to you? I had plans already for this weekend and I saw the email on Eastern from Stormy and I was like I will cancel everything. I just sent out emails and just wrote like yes before canceling everything but um, I have heard of from alumni about the program and some of them have taken part of it in 2015 and they explained to me and told me about and were like if you ever get the chance to do this say yes immediately so I had this in mind when I saw the description or the headline of the email was just like immediately sending yes I'm coming I'm just canceling everything else and I think for me it's super important because I have been a leader since I work I have been a leader since I'm 20 years old so for me to understand how to become a better leader is something that I strive for so I knew I had to take part And we are certainly extremely happy that you are here as representative of your generation and also the youngest representative at this seminar, but with a lot of leadership um, experience. And um, this uh, seminar is uh, very international. Um, we only have two German participants this time. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is you, um, but um, also participants from the United States, um, from uh, the UK, from uh, Italy, Romania, and also from Colombia. Um, is there something which surprised you um, in those leadership discussions and the philosophy discussions within such an international group? So like in the first 24 hours, I have met the ambassador of Colombia, which I totally fell in love with. She is an incredible woman and we already spoke about what we can do together and how we can um, bring Colombian startup scene and the German startup scene more together. So that's the best possible outcome I could have wished for to already ma make connections with other leaders, um, understand a way of not only leading in my own company, but also leading together with them worldwide. So like the option to talk to people from America and one of our moderators, um, her son is the filmmaker and writer of a movie that I grew up with. So like it's a full circle moment and it is it has been an, an incredible journey. It has been a moment of of reflecting, of understanding, of reading text. I, you know I'm Gen Z, so like we watch TikTok videos, but we don't really read that much anymore. So like to go back into time and to read art, like not only articles, but books and passages of times where they, they didn't have the knowledge and the access that my generation has, has been very, very interesting. And to understand it's we're not that different and the problems are still the same is really humbling. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And uh, we just did a practice session um, <laughs> on difficult or decision making in diffi difficult situation and kind of moral dilemma. Um, so there's a philosophical part of the seminar and a practical part. Um, do you think you can take anything home to your daily life and to your work um, from the seminar? Definitely, like understanding how to deal with situations that are probably going to come because these kind of obstacles that we had, they repeated themselves. So like w understanding how to deal with certain problematics and also certain situations was super helpful for me to get an easier access. It's like I'm building up on the knowledge of leaders that have been leaders for the past 50 years, I, it feels like, or like shorter, but 
double they're double the age than I am so I have a huge benefit of being part of it and being so young and taking part of something so early on is a is definitely a huge benefit in my future career and I don't know maybe I will go into politics maybe I will become an ambassador now I have learned so much about the job I'm very intrigued <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty sure that all the other participants are also learning a lot from um, having you here um, what if you um, and, and since since we have you here also in the interview um, is there some is there good advice you would give to us older people <laughs> Don't say more, <laughs> on, experience. more experienced people um, on, on, on leadership um, it's super interesting because I'm writing my second book currently about the Gen Z and it's a very interesting exchange on how we're being seen so I, I actually take more knowledge from you guys to us mm -hmm. than the other way around because I'm starting to learn to listen more and I think that's a problem of my generation we don't listen enough we always want to talk we always put output there we always produce content but we forgot to learn and listen so actually like listening to everyone in the room no matter if it's the men moderator the participant or if it's you guys it is just a incredible opportunity and to be honest from your side just invite young people to the table and you already did that like we are 12 people and we have a different age diversity within it so like we have me as the youngest we have someone who's 28 someone who's 29 someone who's um in their mid 30s someone who's in their mid 40s someone who's a bit, a bit above but that's perfect you have age diversity and that's all you can ask for because you have different things and I feel seen I feel listened and I feel like respected and that's the best thing you can gift me so yeah well thank you so much for being with us and I'm certainly looking forward to reading your book as soon as it is done <laughs> thank you so much thank you thanks guys and take part of the leadership seminar if you haven't done it so far <laughs>